Hey, Unity devs, you're definitely going to want to check this out. There's a new version of Cinemachine 3.1 that just came out that has some amazing examples in it. If you've been building a game that's got cameras, which is pretty much any game, you're going to want to see all of the stuff in here. It's actually got full-on character controllers, running around worlds, and all kinds of other stuff. Let me give you a quick preview of what's in here. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in learning more about game architecture and seeing some of this and transitions between different modes, make sure you check out the game architecture course in the description. Now, in these examples, they've got quite a few things. The first one shows how you can use different update modes. Kind of interesting, useful if you're debugging stuff. The second one is a clear shot camera, which shows you different views based on what actually can be seen. So it gives you the best shot of the character. Not a new thing, but it's a really cool example. The next one I thought was really interesting. It's a cut scene. You walk onto this area and suddenly a cut scene appears and then it disappears and ends and you regain control. Really great example of how to do that kind of stuff. The fade out nearby objects one I couldn't get working, so I skipped right past it. Same with fly around. The free look deoccluder one lets you see how to do, well, occluding stuff so you can occlude or maybe not occlude depending on transparency. But the free look on spherical surface, this one was, I, I think, probably the one that stood out the most for me. Being able to run around, see the uh, basically Mario Galaxy style controls and have that all there as a sample. I just wish this wasn't hidden away. I feel like this should be like a default sample that or a default project type almost. Uh, next up, there was the impulse wave where you jump or do anything that you want to cause this impulse to happen. And it causes these um, little triggers all the way along does this interesting wave. I'm not sure exactly how this works. This is a new one for me, so I'm going to dig into it a little bit more and probably do a full video on that and a couple other of these features. If you have uh, questions about specific ones, by the way, drop a comment and I'll try to make sure that those are included. Next up was the lock on target. So you walk into this area and bam, you're staring at the guy. And then as soon as you leave it, you kind of gain control. So it's adjusting the way that the camera works for boss fights and other stuff. Another really useful example. The mixing camera example shows how to do some interesting transitions for different views. I'm not sure exactly what games, but I could see it maybe as like kind of cut scenes as well, but you do have control over it at the same time. Running race showed how to do a different view based on who's winning and then do a target group so you can see the entire group of objects. Useful for that, I think. And then the split screen car is pretty obvious what it is. But the last two, I think, are really exciting. Third person aim and then a third person aim with an extra run mode. These allow you to run around, hold down right click to zoom and aim kind of with the crosshairs. Basically what you want in most third person games. I don't know why this isn't like a default template yet. Hopefully it becomes one because it's pretty much exactly what you want. And the fact that it also ties in and can work with you running around the world and all these other examples, I think is awesome. The last update or the last example, sorry, was in the custom blends and it just showed how to switch between or do your own custom blends. Not that exciting compared to the other ones. I really like the third person one. Don't get me wrong, it is cool. But I really like the third person one. Uh, I like the running around Mario Galaxy style one. Drop a comment, let me know what your favorite one is. And if you've upgraded to 3.1, let me know what your thoughts are on it so far. I'm really curious to see if everybody likes it so far. I'm loving it. We're using it in the new game architecture course. And I think that I'm gonna be recommending it going forward. I haven't seen any downsides. So if you got any, please drop them down below. If not, don't forget to drop a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, bye.